What's up everyone, my name is Mike, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at this drone landing pad. So this is the 30 inch universal drone landing pad. Comes with the landing pad, reflective stickers, metal stakes to assure you're not going anywhere, and a nice carrying case that allows for easy travel or storage. Now, if you're like me, you might be thinking, why do I need a drone landing pad? I know how to fly and operate my drone and can land it perfectly. Heck, I can even land it in my hand. So I've had this for about a week now, and at first, I didn't think I needed it. But now, after using it for this week, I realize it's something that I'm never going to leave the house without whenever I plan to fly the drone. So let me explain why it's actually so important. The drone landing pad is double-sided. One side is darker, and the other side is a super bright orange. It's made from professional grade 600D nylon and will withstand years of wear, water, or whatever else you throw at it. The quadport drone landing pad is also egg-proof. Also, the stakes are metal, so you won't be breaking or bending them anytime soon. So now that I've explained that, you're aware that this can survive the elements. But the issue is, this cannot. Your drone is a delicate piece of equipment, and as drone technology keeps getting better and better, the drones continue to get smaller and smaller, meaning your drone is closer and closer to the ground. So whenever we're traveling, I try to take my drone with me. Sometimes that means taking off from rocks, dirt, wet ground, or even recently snow. And when the drone takes off, it has so much force that it kicks up all the stuff around it, putting your expensive equipment in danger. So needless to say, it makes sense to protect your drone. When we got this product, we went out to test it, and it snowed. It was only a couple inches, but that means the camera on my drone would be sitting in the cold and wet snow. Now, of course, I wouldn't have just thrown the drone in the snow. I would have taken some time to clear everything out and make sure there's a suitable takeoff spot. But for starters, when you actually do take off, you're still going to be kicking up all that loose snow around. And simply put, why do I need to when I actually have a drone landing pad. As the saying goes, time is money, so the less I have to do to get the shot, the better. So if you want to use the drone landing pad, you simply unfold it, stake it down, and take off. No need to spend a while trying to find a suitable takeoff spot. Now you can simply put it wherever it fits. And not to mention, this actually folds down to 11 inches, making it super portable and easy to sneak in your drone bag. Now there's another feature about this landing pad that I really like that would have proved useful to me in the past, not so much now, but my first drone connected to phone, not through cable, but through Wi-Fi, meaning it was an unstable connection. I'd fly a little bit further than I should, and then I'd lose visuals, which if you fly drones is quite scary. So at that point, I had to try and guess where I was going and get the drone back to sight. So this landing pad actually has a compass on it. So before you fly, line up your pad with the actual directions, and you can use this to help navigate and always know which way you're facing, even if the visuals fail you. Not only that, but we had the landing pad on the ground with the orange side facing up. We were over 350 feet in the air, and you could still see the landing pad, making it quite easy to find when you're trying to land at different heights. So if that's not enough, the company also offers a one-year warranty, complete money back, if the pad fails you with normal use. So if you want to check this out for yourself, we will put a link down in the description below. I highly recommend it to any drone enthusiast, because why not protect your investment? So anyways, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to go take my drone and fly it in some rocky, sandy, snowy, and wet areas, because I can now. But anyways, guys, that's it. We'll see you next time. See ya.